In this video, I'm going to show you a few things. One of them is how to install presets and playlists from the public library. Another one is the difference between four against five and five against four. And I'm also going to explain how percentage difference works in playlists. So this is a question I received about whether if you program four against five, whether the visual metronome can indicate the five. So the quickest way to do a four against five is to, we've got a four in metronome one already. So I can tap in metronome two and change rhythm. And we can go to the whole note and choose five. And then we've got four in metronome one and five in metronome two. And if I play it, it sounds like this. So they're using the same click sound. So I can assign a different sound to the five by tapping in here, choosing change sounds. And let's just put a hi-hat assigned to that. And now we get four on the click versus five on the hi-hat. But notice that the visual metronome is counting the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the question was, can you have the visual metronome counting the five? Now, this isn't possible doing it in this way because the visual metronome counts bars and beats. And so if we wanted it to count the five, we would have to program this in such a way that the five was the bars and the beats. So I've already done that for you and you can download that from the public library. So let me show you how to do that. Tap on the menu icon. If you don't already have a public library account, if you go to the about page, you'll see a register for public library button. So you can click that to register. Once you've got your account, click on the public library in the menu, sign in. And when you're logged in, you can browse the different topics. So I've uploaded this into odd time clicks. And it's called five over four and four over five. So if you tap on this topic, you'll find a brief explanation and then you can tap to install the playlist. So we just choose to open in Polynome. And then when you're importing something new, you can click to view imports. That's going to jump to it in the playlist manager so I can tap and hold to load it. So what we have is four over five and five over four. So I'm going to show you the difference between these things and how I've programmed them. So four over five, let's swipe back you'll see that what I have is a bar of 5-4 divided into 16th notes. And in metronome 1, I am accenting every fifth note. So 1, E, and A, 2, E, and A, 3, E, and A, 4, E, and A. And then 5, E, and A is no accents. And down the bottom, we're accenting the first of every group. So it's in 5-4. So therefore, the visual metronome is going to count those five beats. One, two. Three, four, five, one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five. And if one, we put up the big two, numbers fader, three, four, five, one, you two, can see it counting three, those. Four, five, now the voice one, counting two, here three, four, five, is counting one, metronome two. two. Three, four, five, one, so I can turn that down and we can just hear the four against five. And I can push up voice counting for metronome one. One, two, three, if we want to four, hear the four. One, two, three, four. So that's four over five because we're in five, four and we're trying to overlay four evenly spaced beats in that bar of five, four. So to do five over four, we have to do a bar of four, four and divide that into quintuplets. So both metronomes here are divided into quintuplets. Metronome one is playing every five notes again, but this time those fall on the quarter note of a bar of four, four. And in metronome two, we're playing every fourth note of a quintuplet. And that's how we fit five notes over a bar of four, four. Now, because quintuplets are a different speed to 16th notes, I've had to modify the tempo. So the tempo of this preset is 80 BPM, but it will sound the same because basically quintuplets are a little bit faster than 16th. And the other one was at 100 BPM. So if I play this. One, two, three. One, now you'll notice two, that three, four, the visual metronome five, is counting one, the four, two, the bar of three, four, four, four. So again, if I five, push up big numbers, one, two, three, four, five, one, we're seeing two, the four three, there. Four, and again, five, I can bring one, down the two, voice count three, of the five four, and push up the voice count of the four. four one, 
two, three, four, one, two. And since three, this is what the visual four, metronome is counting, one, I'm going to two, leave this one three, counting the four. four. And then I'm going to have this one count the five. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So see that this one is at 100 BPM and this one is at 80 BPM. So if I wanted to change the tempo and I change this tempo to 110 BPM, then these two wouldn't line up. So what I've done is brought up the tempo percentage slider and you can access this by tapping and holding on the play button one, two, three, four, and turning five, on and off one, the tempo two, percentage. Three, four, five. And what this does is it changes the tempos of everything in this playlist by a relative amount. So if I set this to uh, 200%, then this one's going to play back at 200 BPM and this one's going to play back at 160 BPM. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And if I tap on this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So they're relatively still aligned. So I'm going to put this back to 100. And finally, I'm going to hit play and we'll switch between these two so you can see how the visual numbers and the big metronome numbers change. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and then five, I'll hit the next one, preset and it two, will change three, on a bar four, line. Five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one. So that's switching between 4 over 5 and 5 over 4. And then finally, if we wanted it to switch between them automatically, we can tap on playlist time row and set all reps. We'll set them to one rep each. And then in the playlist controls row, I can turn on auto advance and play when advancing. And playlist looping is on. So this will now cycle between these two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And if you want, you can swipe back and see what's going on here. And finally, if you wanted to hear these 16th notes and the quintuplets, what we could do is tap in here, go to change sounds, and I can assign this H sound to all of the notes. I'll save the changes. One, two, three, four. And then maybe we can put accents. And so we can bring down the level of the notes in between with the accent fader. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So that's counting the 16th notes there and then in this example we can do the same thing i'll tap in here change the sounds and again i'll go and let that h sound play on all of the quintuplets and i'll set the accents so that we're only accenting the ones that we're interested in and again pull the accent fader down a little bit and save the changes one two three one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One iana, two iana, three iana, four iana, five iana. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One. So there you go. That's four against five and five against four. To find out more about polynome, visit polynome.net.